In this video, we'll look at the basic operation of Ballard's Copilot software with MIL Standard 1553, and we'll see how easy it is to get started and diagnose a problem on a 1553 data bus. We'll start Copilot by double clicking the program icon. Our computer has a Ballard USB 1553 interface connected to an external data bus where we have a problem. Copilot starts quickly, and we can immediately see the activity on the 1553 bus. In the Activity View window, we see a grid of icons representing all of the possible 1553 remote terminals on the bus, shown here as RT0, RT1, and so on. The icons are color-coded. Green is good, yellow is a warning, and red is an error. In this case, most of the icons are gray, which shows no activity is taking place. One of the icons is yellow, so let's double-click that icon to drill in and get a view at what's going on inside. As we can see, the active sub-address icon is also showing a yellow warning, so let's click the Back to RTs button to return to the top level and click on the Warnings count above the icons to view the log of data. The data log is showing us that every message to this RT is resulting in a 1553 no response. So we have some sort of an external problem here. The RT is not responding. We can close this window, check the unresponsive RT on the bench, and work to resolve our problem. Here's the problem. The RT was not connected to the 1553 bus. Now that we've connected it, the current state indicator, shown in the interior circle, is now green. Copilot remembers the worst-case historical state shown in the yellow outer ring. We can clear that by right-clicking the header background and selecting Clear 1553 Channel Statistics. Now we can see that all three icons are green, as is the main Copilot status icon. So we've found and resolved our problem. This shows how easy it is to diagnose a problem on the 1553 bus using Copilot. If you're not already using Copilot, we invite you to evaluate the latest version with a free download from our website at ballardtech.com.